Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you happen to see this, I would like to offer the mid-October relationship reading for the element of water for October of 2024. If you're interested as to why I read for the elements instead of the zodiac, there's a video in the description. And if you are new to this type of information, uh, you can always check out, there's a natal chart linked in the description. It gives you your base birth chart with the 12 houses and all the uh, planets and lines and uh, symbols and all that. I am not good with astrology. so. Uh, but then it also comes with 10 to 20 pages, depending on what's all there. Kind of going through the description of what's there, what does it mean, including your elemental alignment. Uh, so if you're interested in that, it's in the description down below. And the cards that I'm using are also linked in the description if you're interested. And with that, we'll get started. I like to read for the couple or for the singles first. So if you are a water single, we'll start there, and then we'll read for the couples. Uh, and I, what I like to do is pull a card for the chakra, kind of give it as an idea of what kind of chakra energy where our focus could be to start with, and then we'll look at a couple of uh, tarot cards to just kind of tap into what the universe wants us to know about where we're going in life here shortly. So, uh, so our water singles, we are starting off with number 40, which is your intuition. And I will read from the book on this in a second. What I'm getting with this one is your, your third eye is really shining right now. Your gut instincts are really uh, awake. So water singles, what is it that you're really looking for? Let your intuition help guide you and direct your uh, vision and your path. I believe this is going to be the third eye anyway, chakra. So it's right here. Um, but what I'm hearing with this one is you really want to take notice of what your higher self is saying and see the lady up there um, and you want to kind of pay attention because when you look in the picture there's a whole bunch of guides and guardians that are surrounding him including some animals some old spirit guides pay attention to the signs and symbols this month because with your relationship whether you're looking for a uh, romantic partner or you're just kind of maybe switching up the friend group a little bit your intuition is going to be the guiding felt force here so this card is number 40 it is the sixth chakra which is your third eye and the deity on here this one up here is actually mother earth so this is Gaia all life springs from her womb she effortlessly pours her love into everyone through gifts of nature that only an unselfish mother can provide from the roots of the tree of life and to the tips of the fruiting branches she offers universal nourishment to all through her gifts, life is sustained, and the journey of awakening flows in the compassionate ocean of love. So, your keywords are developing developing, trusting, and using your intuition, seeing or sensing beyond logic, opening your third eye, empathy, reflecting truth. Water singles, this is really a good time. You have been blessed with a lot of inspiration right now as well as that ability to kind of uh, see through the veil so to speak and with the fact that we are coming off of or in the middle of <laughs> however wherever that moon is at right now but there's a full moon cycle this week and then there's also we're working towards Halloween or Samhain so the veils between worlds are thinning anyway and that's where this is actually setting you up for being able to kind of see a bigger picture and they're also saying that this is a time for you to see it beyond illusion so if you are looking for a romantic partner this is a time where you'll be able to tell the people who actually are in this for the long term versus the ones that are just in it for the short term and what I'm hearing is this is a good time to make those decisions do you want a long term what does that look like for you And when you start to really answer those questions, following your intuition and your inner guidance, ground yourself with Gaia so that you can stay focused and not get lost in the airy fairy. Because water can likes to go with the flow for the most part, but every so often they get into these 
uh, daydreamy things where they disconnect and that's not always helpful when you're looking for a relationship. What I'm hearing this right now for water singles is this is a good time for seeing things as they are, not as you would like them to be. Oh, and being able to see through an illusion of something that might look really nice, but actually turn out to be not what you're looking for. Um, your first tarot is the Two of Fire. You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts, continuing to move forward. This is saying that you've done a lot of the inner work, so you know who you are, so you know what you bring into relationships, romantic friendships, work, however that manifests. So, Water Singles, this is saying you're now in a situation where you're comfortable or ready for that partnership and if it's a romantic one they're saying that you've already been through and you've learned more about yourself and that sets you up for a great deal of success going forward your second card is the king of earth generous professional responsible and practical successful time confidently accepting opportunities and the Midas touch this is really emphasizing the intuition card what is it that you want to create? What is it that you are trying to build in a relationship, in a friendship, in a work relationship, however it's turning up? What I'm hearing with this one, though, is water singles, you're in a really good place right now. You've been through some things through life. We all have. And, and what they're saying is that has actually helped guide and direct you and build a focus. This is what I want in a relationship. And with the Two of Fire and the King of Earth, what these two cards, especially what I'm getting right now is, this is saying, if you want it, go for it. Make sure that you see the vision clearly. You're not just, oh, well, it looks nice on the surface. You're looking at it from the deeper level. You're tapping in with your intuition. Your gut instinct is actually really super accurate right now. Um, and that means, you know, work with logic as you should. But also take the time to really tap into that intuitive side because sometimes logic will say, this person has all of these great things, a steady job, there's this, there's that, and your instincts are like, mm -mm, something's wrong here, What? there's something fishy, you need to dig deeper. And when you start to look at it from that perspective, all of a sudden you can see like that person might be nice now, but three weeks later they're going to get manipulative or abusive or however, that's where your intuition kicks in and that's where balancing logic and reason versus intuition and instinct pay attention to those water singles because you're in a great space right now you're from everything that we were seeing mentally you're good you've done your lessons you can stand on your own and you know what you have to offer so anyone who comes in you actually understand how that dynamic can work on your side and that actually is really impressive and really helpful down the road so we will now hop over to our water couples and we just cut the cards here and this water couples it could be you are the water um, energy or it could be your partner but this is the energy that works within that world and we have number 13 emotions and I'm feeling some Kali energy with this card and what I'm seeing right here is also it's learning to stay on top of your emotions your emotions uh, emotions can be fickle things and what I'm hearing is this is a really good time for you to just focus on whatever is going on stay grounded stay open with your partner emotions can actually put up blinds unintentionally and what I'm hearing is keep the communication open if you're frustrated be like I'm just having a moment right now let me sort my stuff I do want to talk to you about this but I don't want to come across the wrong way they're also saying be open if your partner comes to you with an issue. Be willing to hear what they have to say because it could be just their emotions are a little bit wonky right now. It doesn't. It's not a personal thing right, is what I'm hearing. So let's take a peek at what our book says. We are in our second chakra, so your sacral chakra. And the Descartes deity is actually Terra. Uh, it's an embodiment of the nature of emotions. This goddess grants the protection from fears and negative tendencies easily rides and dives through the waves of the turbulent sea. She stands on a corpse letting us know we are not this body. She is known for taking people across the vast seas of Samasara, which is worldly existence. And it was the forearms and the standing on the corpse that made me think of Kali, but Terra also has that um, focus. And what, they're, what that's saying is that this is showing you that 
the emotions that are flaring up right now, they're temporary. They'll go away. Don't don't hold on to that. Your keywords are pursuit of emotional fulfillment, searching for your preferences, not shoulds, balancing joys and sorrows, uh, duality such as attraction and avoidance, passion and dispassion, trust and jealousy. So this is a very s complex card. There's a lot going on here. It's really saying this is where you come into balance with your partner and within yourself. This is not just a, well, that person has to come over because fill in the blank. No, no, no. This is saying, this is you. They're talking primarily to you, but it could be to your partner as well. The emotions, look at how turbulent the water is. But where they stand, it's calm. Because when you can stand in the center of yourself, the w ocean, the turbulent emotions, that chaos that surrounds you actually settles down because you as a focal point show it how you're wanting it to act. When you are in turbulent situations, taking a deep breath, stepping away from the situation actually can be very beneficial. If you feel your emotions coming up, pause, deep breath, and ask yourself, you don't have to be out loud, just ask yourself, is this mine? Or is this person having something else and I just happen to be in front of them? Because there's times, personal experience, people will come and be very angry about something I had nothing to do with. I wasn't even involved. I wasn't even there. But they need to vent it off. And what this is saying is you can be that sounding board for your partner or your partner can be that way for you. But pay attention to your emotions because those emotions they're temporary the waves in the ocean do not last forever they pop up and then they lay down and that's what they're saying here is your the waves that's temporary this physical form that's temporary it is the enlightenment the spiritual growth and that connection to your partner that is in a lot of people's opinions eternal or thoughts so when you start looking at it from that perspective yeah, there might be a bill that's a little bit short and you're not sure how you're going to make it. Is that going to be an end of the world situation? No, and don't let it be. It's not worth the sacrifice is what I'm hearing. So let's take a peek. Wait, well, that card is just really aggressive today. Um, so let's take a peek at the tarot and see what else we've got for you, water couples. And your first card is, they're really wanting me to repeat this and I don't know why. Be gentle with yourself, find center and find grounding. The world is chaos right now. There's a lot of really intense energies. The full moon has been completely messing everybody up this week. And emotions can run a little bit raw because sleep has not been a dominant thing this week either with well anyone that I know. And so as you're going through this, understand that you might, you or your partner might be a little bit short, uh, a little short fused. It's not personal. Take a deep breath, find your center and be open to communication, but don't take on the other person's energy and don't put your energy on that other person. Allow yourself to be in your own right. So yeah, that's all I'm hearing. Um, <laughs> your first tarot card is number 17, the star with Archangel Jophiel. Happy times, positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. This is saying there is a hiccup going on. And when you're talking sacral, this is where you're connecting into another person. So that's, that's the chakra energy that we're talking about is that flow. But the star card with uh, Angel Jophiel is saying, everything is going to be all right everything is moving in the right direction you might have a little um, bump in the road right now that is not a permanent thing and don't let it be a permanent thing you're water you move with the flow you know how to adapt you know how to adjust allow this to happen water boils and then gets cool again let it boil and cool it's not worth anything bigger than that. The star is saying there's a lot of positive energy and we're not talking solar lunar. This is cosmic support for you. This is God source divine in a very broad ranging sense coming in to be supportive of anything that's going on. So feel free to reach out when that happens because that's what they're there for. The divine God source, Lord and lady, however you see it, they are here to support and help us as we go through life. 
they also want me to remind everybody that you have an entire host of guides and guardians with you you have angels you can call upon um, and if you have a pet they are an amazing source of comfort when things are a little bit rough but water this is a short-term thing don't let it become serious um, the second card actually is again don't let it become serious the five of air unwise decision learning what can you can from a situation reviewing everyone's motives I'm changing the word motive to emotions because this is going to be an interesting time for you when you have the star as your primary that's the first card that came up and it's major arcana so this is your focus everything's gonna be all right this is just saying don't be too quick to judge keep your focus on what is important that bond with your partner that growth potential the love that you feel for that person and if something is having a hiccup it's all right to say give me a minute I just need to get this settled out because that's what your partner is there for that's what you're I mean you it's a growth potential thing you're building a life together you've built a whole portion of it already it's time to keep going with that and they're saying that temporary blips do not make long-term issues and this is saying the unwise decision is making it a big deal don't don't do that and don't bring the past into it we're dealing with the moment now let it go when it's over then you can look back and be like see we can survive this stuff because you've already survived it before you'll survive this and you'll keep growing each time you do it's going to build a stronger and stronger bond with your partner and yeah they're just uh, checking in with my guides real quick they're just making it pretty clear that um, water couples everything is going really well there could be some short-term like blips in the road but they are short-term for a reason just remember that the world we live in currently this third dimensional thing where we have these bodies um, it's a temporary thing it's not who we are as a spirit and as a soul so it's temporary don't don't take it too seriously enjoy life as much as you can bring smiles and laughter everywhere you go because to, to quote that really cheesy line none of us are getting out of here alive so have as much fun as you can grow with the people love deeply with those people and enjoy everything that comes your way so with that i will wrap this one up i hope you guys have a great rest of october and i will see you in the next video